Okay, let's try this color. So I kept Bayou because Bayou is irreplaceable, but you don't use a whole lot and it isn't very shimmery. And for the inner eye, I think pretty much anyone can use a tiniest little bit of shimmer on the inner eye and there's just nothing like Bayou. So with Bayou, all you're gonna do is just pull it on the inner corner. And if you don't want it as blue as I did it, just don't wrap it around, just pull it like this. So I'm just doing like a little triangle basically. So pretty. With the fluffy side, we're going to start with Cafe. So Cafe is that same beautiful color, and this color is stunning on its own or with other colors. So I'm just stroking from my eyebrow towards my eyelash, and then I'm going to pull it in. So if you open your eye, you should, you should be able to see that color. I'm just going to kind of connect it to Bayou there. And then make sure to flip it over and go under the eye as well. This is really what makes the look. Okay, so instead of going with Duke, we're going to go with Butterscotch. It's going to be very pretty. So I'm going to grab butterscotch with a little end and we're just going to, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Go right up to the brow bone. You don't want to go up high enough to where you see it. And if you did, then just go and blend. I like to blend that color into this one and that color into that one. That is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, next color that we are going to replace is Ivy League. So we're going to use, it's basically the same intensity of a color, just not a shimmer. Okay, so Ivy League is dark green. Where is it? Right there. So I would use the small end. If I were you, I'm just going to dab into that. And I'm just going to create this little triangle here. And all that's going to do is darken up the outside and give this little hint of green. That is really pretty. So we're getting that ombre effect. Okay, lastly, I grabbed Pup instead of Rome, because Rome does have the slightest little bit of shimmer. Pup has none. So this is Pup right here. Grab a little bit of Pup, and that is just to soften the top edge. So we're just going to go over the top edge, make sure everything is nice and blended. Blend this blue into that one. Blend that green into the brown. And there you have it. So there's a matte look of the of the blue and brown look that I did the other day. I'm going to add some eyeliner and some mascara so you can really see it. 